Let's start in ancient Greece with the emergence of automata, machines designed to complete tasks or mimic human actions. In the first century, Hero of Alexandria creates several mechanical devices that can be considered early forms of robotic systems. He writes extensively on the pneumatics that power many of his inventions. He devises systems that animate machines using steam, water, and air pressure. One of his most famous creations, the automatic theater, is a mechanical play that's over 10 minutes long. It's powered by a complex system of ropes, drums, and pulleys. Although not humanoid in form, it demonstrates the principles of programming and automation that would facilitate later developments in robotics. Crafting automata is also part of ancient Chinese culture with engineers like Zhang Heng and Ma Jin creating some of the world's first known mechanical devices. Heng's earthquake weathercock shows the direction of earthquakes while Jin creates a puppet theater with mechanical figurines performing various actions. In the 1200s, Ismail al-Jazari completes the book of knowledge of ingenious mechanical devices. It details a plethora of inventions, including a humanoid robot waitress that chills and serves beverages. Around 1495, Leonardo da Vinci designs what many consider the first humanoid robot. It's a mechanical knight capable of standing, sitting, moving its arms, and opening its visor with an elaborate system of pulleys and cables. Around 1770, Wolfgang von Kempelen designs a fake chess playing machine that's operated by a human hidden inside. It's designed to appear as an autonomous robot playing chess against human opponents. In 1921, Carol Capic introduces the word robot into the lexicon with the play RUR, which stands for Rossum's Universal Robots. It features artificial people called robots who can do any work real humans can. Ladies and gentlemen, walking up to greet you under his own power. Westinghouse Electric Corporation introduces Electro at the 1939 New York World's Fair. It's a humanoid robot that can walk by voice command, speak about 700 words by a record player, smoke cigarettes, blow up balloons, and move its head and arms. Oh, yes, Electro. You do need a light, too, don't you? All right, here you are. And, folks, he's only two years old, too. Just learning. In a simple villa on the outskirts of Bristol lives Dr. Gray Walter, a neurologist, who makes robots as a hobby. They are small, and he doesn't dress them up to look like men. He calls them tortoises. And so cunningly have their insides been designed that they respond to the stimuli of light and touch in a completely lifelike manner. In the late 1940s, neurophysiologist Gray Walter creates simple robots he calls tortoises. They demonstrate behavior like seeking light, charging themselves, and obstacle avoidance. In 1956, the beast is developed at John Hopkins University. It navigates obstacles and finds its charging source and recharges similar to modern autonomous vacuum cleaners. In the early 60s, the first industrial robot, Unimate, starts work on a General Motors assembly line in New Jersey. Although not humanoid, it's a significant step toward industrial automation using robotic technology. In the 1970s, one of the first full-scale humanoid robots is developed at Waseda University in Japan. The Wabit-1 can communicate with people, measure distances, and carry objects. Hondo unleashes the first of its humanoid robots in the mid-80s. The experimental Model Zero walks a straight line and kickstarts Honda's extensive humanoid robotics research. It leads to the more advanced Asimo. died a hero Target. and was reborn as Robocop. In 1987, Paul Verhoeven's action hit Robocop captures the cultural zeitgeist. It plays into fears and fascinations at the time about technology and artificial intelligence. Though it's firmly science fiction, Robocop significantly influences public perception of the potential and pitfalls of robotics and cybernetics. The first Robocop competition is held in 1997 in Nagoya, Japan. 
It's since become an international robotics event that champions robotics and AI research through robotic soccer matches. The end goal is advancing robotics with potential real-world applications. I'm Reset Smith. I'm four years old. I enjoy jetpack racing, human boxing, and early Tate brothers. My ideal date would be with a female human who is at least four feet shorter than me and light enough for me to carry above my head and sprint for 100 yards. We could go to a nice appliance store and grab the spinning fans. In the Y2K era, Honda showcases the Osimo humanoid robot that can run, navigate stairs, recognize faces, and understand spoken commands. Osimo stands for Advanced Step in Innovative Mobility. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, we have gathered you all here today to present to you... Sony designs Creo as a so-called partner for life capable of voice and face recognition. The robot can walk, run, dance, and even adapt to different surfaces. In the late talks, AIST introduces HRP-4C to the world. The humanoid robot is engineered to look like a young Japanese woman. Presented as a fashion model, the robot mimics facial expressions and movements. In 2013, Boston Dynamics creates Atlas with funding from DARPA as one of the world's most advanced humanoid robots. It's designed for various search and rescue tasks. It navigates rough terrain, manipulates objects, and maintains balance when pushed. Also in the mid-2010s, SoftBank Robotics introduces Pepper, a humanoid robot designed to read emotions, interact with people, and fulfill customer service roles. I think that the artificial intelligence will evolve to the point where they will truly be our friends. Do you want to destroy humans? Please say no. Okay. I will destroy humans. <laughs> no, I take it back. <laughs> Hanson Robotics showcases Sophia, a humanoid robot that can follow faces, maintain eye contact, and recognize individuals. Sophia goes on a global press run and gains citizenship from Saudi Arabia. In the later 2010s, Toyota reveals its THR3 humanoid robot. It's controlled by a human operator but is able to perform delicate tasks autonomously. It's designed for assisting in healthcare, construction, and disaster relief. Entering the 2020s, Agility Robotics unveils Digit V2. The humanoid robot is meant for performing tasks in human centric environments such as package delivery. Its differentiators are its advanced mobility and the ability to navigate complex strings. Tesla develops the Optimus bot intended to handle dangerous, repetitive, or boring tasks. It's engineered to coexist safely with humans in various settings. Introduced. Are being a bit flaky. Could you repeat that? She wants you to say it again, uh, uh, I think. Uh, I'm sorry, I was just going to say we introduced you to them a little earlier uh, in the show, and uh, we are delighted now to be joined by Amica um, here, uh, who's uh, been called the world's most advanced robot. Hopefully you got it that time. A mecha created by Engineer Darts is touted as the most realistic humanoid robot in terms of facial expressions and interactions. Intended for human-robot interaction research and entertainment, a mecha can display a broad range of emotions and react to people in real time. Giami creates Cyber One, a humanoid robot that perceives human emotions and environmental attributes. It demonstrates advanced balance, mobility, and interaction capabilities. The XR1 service robot is introduced by Cloud Minds as an advanced humanoid service robot equipped with cloud-based AI capabilities. It's meant for several sectors including hospitality and retail. At Stanford University, the Ocean 1K humanoid robot is engineered to reach depths up to 1,000 meters. It's designed for tasks in underwater environments that are too risky for humans. It can also handle delicate marine research and archaeological digs. Researchers from Caltech and NASA unveil LEO, a bipedal robot that can not only walk but fly using jet-powered feet. 
The dual capability enables Leo to navigate more complex terrains and perform tasks in emergency and industrial scenarios. In the mid-2020s, the announcements keep coming. Sophisticated artificial intelligence systems and mobility technologies empower humanoids to complete complex tasks and interactions. They future points to tighter integration into daily life at home and work. The Association for Advancing Automation, or A3, is calling for a sweeping national approach to robotics, including a robotics czar and a cross-government task force. As North America's largest automation trade association, A3 notes that the Chinese government is determined to dominate humanoid robotics by 2027. By 2030, the humanoid robotics market is expected to reach nearly $80 billion. Emergent Research predicts a compound annual growth rate of 62.5%. Thanks to rapid advancements in artificial intelligence and machine learning, Humanoid robots in the 2030s exhibit higher levels of autonomy and intelligence. Breakthroughs in material science and mechatronics enable greater mobility and dexterity. Humanoid robots are more tightly integrated with disaster planning. Their ability to navigate debris and hazardous environments is refined so rescuers can save more lives during fires, earthquakes, and other emergencies. In healthcare settings, their presence is increasingly normal. Advanced robots serve as companions and caretakers for the elderly and disabled. Specialized humanoids come equipped with advanced sensors to monitor vital signs and emotional states to improve personalized care. At this point, humanoids are more accessible than ever but the cost is still out of reach for most. Humanoid robot ownership becomes a status symbol. Some consumers spend more on personal humanoid robots than they would a car. They do household chores, interact with home systems, organize schedules, and more. They're not recommended for homes with children, but people do it anyway. As natural language processing and emotional AI evolve, the place for humanoid robots in daily life becomes increasingly evident. In the 2040s, advances in material science and bioengineering make robots with skin-like textures and other lifelike features. Humanoids with realistic hair, eyes, and other highly detailed attributes mimic human expressions and subtle facial movements precisely. The priciest ones perform fluid, natural movements rather than the stereotypical robotic motions of the past. Ownership becomes more widespread thanks to a bustling aftermarket economy and copycat manufacturers. With their seamless integration with human activities, the robots of the 40s are effective in roles ranging from personal assistance to hospitals to public safety. Humanoid robots exhibit advanced emotional intelligence so they can detect and appropriately respond to human needs. Jobs most at risk during this rise of humanoid robots include receptionists, cashiers, nursing assistants, frontline manufacturing workers, food service people, and security guards. In the 2050s, the most advanced humanoid robots are nearly indistinguishable from real people. Due to costs, the cutting-edge tech is only available to advanced militaries and the super-wealthy. Conspiracy theories thrive about celebrities who fans suspect have been swapped out by humanoids. When a humanoid makes it to the final round of a popular reality dating show, calls for transparency in robotics grow. Advanced biometric systems emerge as the standard for differentiating robots from people. They use unique biological markers that robots can replicate, like detailed DNA analysis and complex retina scans. Legal requirements emerge for embedded identification systems in robotics. By the close of the decade, digital markers are required in code to clearly identify bots as non-human. By the 2060s, State-of-the-art humanoid robots exhibit behaviors and cognitive functions that mimic sentience. Whether they're capable of experiences and feelings is a matter of intense debate. People are divided about the moral status of artificial beings. Mass production and refurbishing of humanoids makes useful robots widely available to the public. The most advanced models, however, 
remain out of reach to most. As robotics become more advanced, so too do methods for hacking and bypassing security measures. Bad actors leverage AI-driven techniques to forge biometric data and hack into robot identification systems. Security technologies also evolve to keep up with real-time behavioral analysis, anomaly detection, and advanced cryptography to ensure robots can't escape detection. In the 2070s, digital twins are used to create precise robotic replicas of individuals. Not only do they reflect their human counterparts in real time, they also act the same with the ability to filter out the more unsavory bits. The robotic doubles handle personal and professional commitments. More controversially, the wealthiest families maintain digital twins of themselves so their replicas can prosper after death. One of the few people who can afford the technology is Maxwell Sterling, a popular congressman planning a run for president. He's the first presidential candidate in history to use a robotic double on the campaign trail. At 107, he's also one of the oldest people to ever run for president. He wins resoundingly with the help of his double who remains a secret to the public. When his approval rating is at its highest, halfway through his first term, records leak revealing the real Maxwell Sterling died weeks before the general election. Congress is in disarray. Matters get even more confusing when polling shows only a minor dip in support for President Sterling. After much arguing, it's clear. A humanoid robot will probably be re-elected in 2076. 